Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's now uh, discuss entertainment, uh, body shaming in the entertainment media industry. Popular Nigerian blogger Linda Ikeji posted a picture on her social media which garnered admiration from a lot of her followers and even myself liked that picture on Instagram when I saw it last night. But a fashion police was observant enough to see that her stretch marks were visible in the last slide. Now we're going to talk about this, uh, discussing body shaming with our entertainment correspondent, Ifoluwa Oshunke. Uh, good morning, Ife. Hello, Thanks for joining morning. us. How are you doing? What do you think about this? Um, I think it's a, it's a um, very popular situation in the entertainment industry. It's not even just body shaming. Shaming generally, you see a lot of celebrities having to borrow clothes because they do not want to repeat outfits they've worn on social media. So it's a social media thing. And it's so crazy to the point that people actually zoom into these pictures to see your pimples, to see your freckles, to see your acne, to see things that and natural that really not, that they have as well but because you're a celebrity they expect you to be perfect but we all know it doesn't work that way and a lot of people in the media industry especially when you're on screen you suffer this but um when we even talking about like linda ikeji when you're talking about stretch marks and the person was like ah you have too much money for you to have stretch marks what does money got to do with stretch marks it happens when you've added weight or you're losing weight or childbirth or whatever you get it's just a stretching of the skin and if even if you want to use treatment, you can only fade it. It can be removed completely. So why the shaming? A lot of people are not just informed. Hmm. It's really, I, and this is the way that I see it. I see it as, you know, the effect of having so many people have access to you. And that's what mm. social media brings. Mm. Um, a lot of people who make these type of statements will not be able to stand in front of Linda Cage any day, any time. Mm. They would not be able to sit in the same place that she is. So it's, it's just some random person, someplace, you know, with his, you know, hundred naira data that he bought to you <laughs> in the morning that you know the social media gives you know these persons access to just mm -hmm. anybody yeah. and unfortunately we also live in a society where any random person can set standards for you sure. in your house who is trying to make a living and doing what you need to do um there's some random emeka somewhere or you know uh, tunde somewhere you know certain standards but for guess you, what? you that he can't even meet up with you but know? guess what you are the or one she. referring to them as random because you have a thicker skin what about those that do not do you know how many people especially in america statistic states that a lot of people commit suicide based on the fact that their body shame especially fat people or people that have um, so how do you on, think on, 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 in on the, the nigerian situation side? this affects you know their mental health of course it does because it, it reduces your confidence now you can't wear certain things you want to wear as a celebrity because you like this dress but it's show back and then when you wear that show back now the stretch marks will come from your armpits you can't wear it so you probably want to put a jacket on it killing your style so do you understand so if people allow people be maybe you would even you would even admire their dress sense even more do you understand? A lot of people have better taste, better, better dress sense. But you see them dressing in a certain way and you're wondering why. It's because they have things they really do not want you to see because they're scared of the comments you put out there. All right, if I, how did we get to this point where rather than... Social media. Like really, That's rather really, than, uh, rather really than embrace media. our body, love ourselves, we then become so particular. It's simple. It's Social seek, media. Seeking perfection um, yeah. and validation. And validation, exactly, from, mm. from random people. Uh, you know, and I feel, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but, you know, at the same time, people need to just do like Whiskey. Mm. Ignore everybody. Whiskey no, doesn't just don't anybody speak. On and I like, um, to be honest, I really admire um, Linda Ikeji's response. She said, she said she I love don't you. care. No, she, she actually said love you at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Love you. Love you. Wow. Do you understand? Like, very cool. So I think a lot of people should learn to be like that. And the thing is, the general public, there's a clarion call, just let people be. Just let them live their lives. You have your own faults. Nobody is made to be perfect. Mm. Exactly. You see, this issue, you can't discuss body with shaming that. without discussing online bullying because, you know, basically, Definitely. these are people, like you said, that wouldn't be able to walk up to you in person mm -hmm. to speak to you, to your face. They will act like a fan. <gasps> Exactly. When, they, exactly. when they say it might be a different reaction. So how do you think online bullying comes into play here? 
Um, definitely, it does come into play because a lot of people that do not even have self-confidence or they're insecure about themselves. Now, you'll be shocked that the person typing from behind the keyboard also has a lot of stretch marks and that person is not confident. So, she's looking for the next person to make feel bad about their own self. So, of course, online bullies, are, they definitely do exist and that is why they are there. They are just, they're called trolls these days, right? They just want to troll people. They buy data to come. Some people are there for the comments. Some people, you even, when you're reading the comments, if you are here for the comment section, put your hand up. Why are you there for the comment? Why are you not just there to get the message or admire the picture or just like and move on? Must you comment on everything? But you see people reading 3,000 um, comments, comments and then they are replying each person in the comments that you know you you don't have this you you don't do you, do you understand like it's a war zone on social media right now and it's really sad that um we've gotten to that point like you said um we're seeking validation from other people and what other people see on social media if you can't tell me in person but to be honest it also happens in person you see people that is none of that they're just like ah you know you're not big oh. Yeah, how how does that even? They're uh, uh, looking very slim. How does that even? How is that even any yeah. of your bitch? Do you know what I'm going through? What the first question she asked me? How you doing? Are you okay? Be concerned about people's mental health, their well-being. That's not the first question. Let the person now open up and say, "Oh, I'm going through." Oh, is that why you're losing a lot of weight? There's, there's Do you understand? Um, there are ways to approach people. Don't just walk up to me and say, "Ah, you're not very fat, too." I said, any of your business, what if I want to be fat? Indeed. You, you have to either, I mean, if you have to be a celebrity in Nigeria, you need to learn to either have very, very tough skin mm -hmm. or to not care. Mm. You know, so, it, you know, either of those, you know, are great defense mechanisms, mm. you know, from these, you know, little bits of madness that you see every now and then. So it's either you're that person who can see these hate, you know, comments or see hurtful comments on, on your and just let it slide. And just not let even, it slide. you know, let it bother you. Or you are a person who, you know, has very, very thick skin and, you know, looks at it and... Yes, and aside so from it's, it's online, of both. aside from online bullying, it's also it's also leads to the fake life because you want to impress everybody. So you touch media. up all your pictures. Yeah, more. you touch up all your pictures. You know, you borrow cars to take pictures. You borrow clothes to take pictures. You. You put bag. Now I heard they sell um designer boxes. So there's nothing in it. Yeah. So there's a place that you can actually go to in Lagos Island just to go get designer bags. Same you know? way there's you know <laughs> private jets that yes. don't yeah really you just go take a picture. You, take a picture. you don't move. It looks like it's you just go in and you pay. It's a set that's designed like a private jet. <laughs> like yeah. anyway, um, so let people be. I even heard one about uh, you know how people you know on their birthdays they get a cake with money. Mm. I hear that money is fake. They just wrap yeah. it. It's fake money. Hmm. Oh my God! It things know. people do for the gram, yo. It's 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 things terrible. People do for it's the terrible. Gram. And, 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 you have and, to be and, gram worthy. You know, I would also you know also <laughs> quickly add that I think I think we as persons persons need to do also do better um, right. with giving other people you know the standards that we've set for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, body shaming people. You know, using our own religious you know um, beliefs, beliefs to control other people. We we need to do better. Stretch, yes. stretch marks have never been a problem. They yeah, are beautiful in every way. Thing. There's exactly. you know, particular stretch marks that I like. There's some guys that I like love to see. I like stretch marks. marks. Um, I just think the bottom line is that I we should too. all just be kinder to each other. Absolutely. Be kinder to Especially one in the right places. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ifo Shinkei, for joining us. I have no idea what these men are up to. <laughs> but thank you very much for keeping it today with us on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. This is where we call it a wrap for today. It's great, great to know that uh, after all the discussions on security and intense topics, we're able to wrap it up with something on a very light note. So it's a... Uh, it's, it's, uh, that's what it is right here on The Breakfast <laughs> and it's a Phoenix. I don't even want to go, but sadly, we will we still have go. the news at, uh, at 9 a.m. And that's just in about six minutes. Exactly. And if you missed out on any of the goodness that we shared this morning, uh, you can join us on social media at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, and of course, YouTube, all at Plus TV Africa. Search for us, like the page, subscribe, and uh, be a part of this you know, very, very beautiful family. Have a great Tuesday ahead. Yes. And uh, it's goodbye See you from tomorrow. me. See you tomorrow.